To help you do complex date and time calculations, Excel includes many built-in date and time functions. In this session, we'll just cover the today function and the now function. The today function returns the serial number of today's date based on your system's clock, your PC's clock, and it doesn't include the time. So to get the today, today function, we just press equal, type in today, open parentheses, close parentheses, press enter, and you've got that. Now the now function returns the serial number of today's date and includes the time. To get that, we do type in equal, now, open parentheses, close parentheses, press the return key. And now we see we've got today's date and 1030. Now Excel stores all dates as integers and all times as decimal fractions. So with this system, Excel can add or subtract or compare the dates and times uh, just like it would any other number. To see what I mean, uh, let's go ahead and select these two dates and date times. Right click and look at the format cells and let's change it to a general category instead of a, a date category. We, we want get to get out of that format and go to general. Once we click OK, we'll see that today's date, 10, October 1st, 2010, is represented as the integer 40,452 and the date and time of October 1st, 2010, 1030 is represented as 40452.43788. So in this system, the serial number, number one, it represents actually the starting date in Excel, which is January 1st, 1900 at 12 a.m. So to kind of get an idea of what that means, let's go ahead and type number one here. And we'll go back and change it to a format where we can see the date and time. And see that it is represented by January 1st, 1900 at 12 a.m. Now the decimals that we spoke about earlier, let's go ahead and control Z to bring, it, bring us back a little bit to our October 1st date. It, the decimals go out to five decimal places from point zero to point nine 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 nine, and point nine 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 is you know, the hour closest to the twenty-four, the minute or second close. Excuse me, the second closest to the uh, twenty-four hour line. So basically, it would be if we typed in four zero four five two point nine 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 and then we go ahead and change that into the date time here which will give us something close to that or maybe in our custom it will give us something a little close to, to that we'll see that the hour is almost 12 a.m. so it would be almost like the next day So if you were to send something like this and you were if you were to do calculations with the today function and now function or any other type of calculation functions and you were to send it to somebody that was uh, on an Excel that's running on a Macintosh and you were running on uh, a piece a Windows environment you have to be aware that the way that they calculate the starting time is different so in the starting time for uh, uh, a Windows environment, it starts at January 1st, 1900. Whereas in a Mac environment, it would start at, in 1904. To see how this gets changed, we kind of go into the Microsoft Office button and go into Excel options and go to Advance and scroll down to where it says the calculating workbook and we'll see that we have a use 1904 date system so there's a difference between how dates are calculated on Excel in a Windows environment versus a Mac environment so if you were to send this file to somebody using a Macintosh you might need to tick this off now in the Mac world how you can see that is when you're in Excel you go to preferences uh, under calculations there's also a checkbox here for the 1904 so if you tick that off uh, it will use the 1900 category 
So they have a little, also a little nice little description here on the difference between uh, the using the 1900 system and the 1904 system with the Mac. So there you go, a little information on the today and now uh, date and time function and some information on how system dates and times are calculated between the Excel in either Windows or the Mac. Thanks for watching.